head of the health department. So could we have them introduce themselves? So we understand who we're dealing with. Thank you, Chairman. None of my members. My name is Safina Koko. I'm the principal secretary for gender affairs. Gender affairs? Yes. And the gentleman who has accompanied you? My name is Peter Karoni, accountant, State Department for Data Affairs. Accountant. Fine. You are where you are, Dr. Muya. Yes, that's where I want to Yes. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, I was just wondering at the moment whether uh, the principal secretary Muya understands the consequences of taking an off. And from where I sit, it's just confirmed that whatever he's reading has been given to him. Now I'm wondering whether that he said, what he's going to say here is truth and nothing but the truth. Whether what has been written to him, you are sure it is truth and nothing but the truth. So maybe chairman, if he's given a chance, maybe he could withdraw the oath and let someone else take the oath. Because I'm concerned. Uh, on your other request, I'm not really quite sure <laughs> how to go about it. The matter, matter of doing an oath. It's a new one for me. <laughs> now, yeah, only, only because he's going, he's going around about it. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I think uh, when the PS took off and started making some responses, uh, to me, I believe that he was holding brief. And uh, he's supposed to answer all the questions that have been raised. Because when he started reading, that means that he understands everything that is contained in the responses, in the questions and responses. So you are an obligation on both to respond all the questions. That is my understanding. Thank you, Chair. Now, uh, do, we, do, you, do you have something to say, Mona Pia? Uh, thank you, Chair. Yeah. The, the matters that uh, we are discussing, and especially these this numbers relating to 2014-2015, uh, procedurally, when we were here last time, I had the staff from the State Department for Public Service and Youth Affairs, and Gender Affairs, actually. Because the details about the numbers that I'm explaining, it's only them who have accepted the details, it's only them who know the details. And, Honorable Chair, uh, when I made my submissions last time, I said we collated this information. And, and that is, is the case even up now. And where matters relate to public service, youth affairs, and gender affairs, uh, Chairman, with your guidance, uh, we, I, I would like to submit that it is it's difficult for me to argue the case and submit and be able to give appropriate answers on the issues that have been raised and responses here. Okay, Madam Peke will, will of course come in, but then uh, Dr. Muir will recall that this is actually your third appearance before us. The very first appearance, when you came before us, your argument was that you had sent out a request to your sister or brother state departments to give you the responses for you to collate. And therefore, you asked for more time, which we did give you. So when you came the second time, you actually had a complete response. All the queries under your signature, I suppose. OK? So while you got them, it was neither here nor there, as far as the committee is concerned. But also it happens. It so happened that when you came the second time, your counterpart from the State Department of Labor Public Service and Youth was also here. Not, not by your invitation, but by our invitation. Okay? So it's just a coincidence that you bumped onto her. And she was able to come in to clarify some of those issues. From where we sit, since you are undertaken to collate the responses, in respect to this quiz, we thought that you had the capacity, which you still believe you have, to respond adequately on behalf of government, behalf of the executive. 
Now, the stuff you are taking now looks like new to us and surprising. Nevertheless, you are lucky that your colleague has now joined you, Madam Kwe Kwe Kwe. Yes. Can you put on hold before you will comment? So that we allow you to join forces, both of you. To respond to these queries. Because we want to be able to deal with these issues today in this sitting up and, and clear them. Can you put her? No, no. What's the name of it? <coughs> How you arrange with me as well as your business. But please give us answers to those please. So we do swear that the evidence I shall give before this committee on the matters under its consideration shall be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help me again. Thank you. Just make a comment, Madam Quirkin, about your preparedness to deal with the matters before us. Thank you, Chairman, um, and honorable members. Um, just a preamble, we received a request from our colleague, uh, uh, Dr. Muya, to provide respond, uh, information uh, to respond to a uh, question that has been raised by this committee. Uh, reason being that uh, the questions were relating to a period in time when um, the funds in question were uh, uh, within the jurisdiction of the Sector Department of Planning. Uh, we did uh, that, Honorable uh, Chairman, uh, Chairperson, and all the members, and um, these are related to the years 2014-15-2016. Uh, you will recall, Honorable uh, Chair, that uh, the Sector Department of Gender Affairs, we are always of fund, uh, youth fund, uh, was of fund um, Act FGM, uh, became uh, an accounting unit in 2016. We became an accounting unit in 2016. Mm -hmm. And therefore, previous years we were uh, within the set part of the planning. So the response that we gave uh, to our set, uh, sister set department of planning are the responses that we generated ourselves. Yes. So we stand by those responses. And uh, because I'm, I'm getting in when uh, you're already midway, I will. Uh, Stand to be guided okay. on, on what I need to be able to speak on. Thank you, sir. Very good. So let's proceed. Uh, Dr. Muya. Uh, 